Last week, we released the beta version of the next generation of ArcGIS Runtime SDKs. With these SDKs, developers can build native 2D and 3D and embedded GIS components or standalone GIS applications for both desktops and mobile platforms. 3D on mobile devices means, for example, that archaeologists can bring their 3D content into the field. Here, I have an Android application showing you Sandy Boy from an archaeologist's point of view, just an empty field. Let's add some GIS content by showing the latest discoveries, and then some context by showing the layout of the houses. Now, I can take advantage of the sensor on my device and my location while working on the field and have a visual representation of where I am compared to the overall site. Even better, I can jump back in time and have a virtual reality experience of what the site looked like while working around an empty field. That is all possible today. <laughs> Thank you. That is all possible today using the ArcGIS runtime. But now I want to talk about the future of 3D GIS visualization. One of the goals of the Kalmar County Museum is to give their user a truly rich and immersive experience. I have one device that can really help here by allowing them to travel through distance and time and actually bring the fort to the museum, or in this case, San Diego. That is the Microsoft HoloLens. HoloGIS on. With such a device, visitors will be able to interact with the model. So HoloLens is not about only a personal experience. It's also to be able to share in a collaborative way. So Friedrich, who was part of the excavation of the House 40, is now hopefully looking at it with his own perspective. Whoa, and now it's moving. <laughs> so as I was saying, uh, Frederick was part of the excavation of the house 40, right here. And now he can look at it with me as a hologram. Even better, we can take the experience a little bit further and actually experience the ex excavation site exactly as if we were there. Except that, of course, we overlay the scene with GIS data to give it more context. What do you think, Frederick? Wow. <laughs> wow, it's just like being there one year ago. <laughs> I'm leaving you to it. If you're interested in providing a similar experience to your user, we're working on a blog post <laughs> explaining how you, how you can bring your own data to the HoloLens or other virtual reality devices using ArcGIS software. Thank you. <laughs>